And now for some final thoughts on smart animals. Smart pets are the ones that obey simple commands and, as we've seen, can memorize the names of things. Smart chimpanzees even know how to stack boxes and reach a banana or combine hand gestures into rudimentary sign language. These animals are cherished by their owners and are often the marvel of scientific conferences. Though impressive for their own species, their intellectual talents are no greater than that of a human toddler. Our brain is, of course, capable of art, poetry, philosophy, mathematics, technology. Meanwhile, only a small genetic difference separates humans from other mammals, especially chimps. What a difference that little bit makes, you might say. But suppose that intelligence difference was as small as the genetic difference itself, and we just tell ourselves it's large. Suppose another life form showed up with the same small genetic advantage on us that we have on chimps. What would we look like to them? The most brilliant among us, say Stephen Hawking, would be presented at their conferences as they proclaim, this one is slightly smarter than the rest. He can do astrophysics calculations in his head, just like our little Timmy over here. Come to think of it, we've never meaningfully communicated with a species on Earth less intelligent than we are. Could it be that our simplest thoughts are too abstract, too complex for them to comprehend? Leaving me to wonder whether this hypothetical smarter life form would be similarly challenged trying to communicate with us as they wonder whether their simplest thoughts are too abstract, too complex for the human mind to understand. And that is the cosmic perspective.